God bless you today. I'd like to speak to you just for a moment about lingering in his hands. And this is from John in the scripture when Jesus was speaking about how his sheep would hear his voice. This is John 10:27, 28 and 29. And how that he knows them and they follow him. And I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. My, what a rest today and a wonderful comfort for the believer that we can linger in his hands. Neither shall any man be able to pluck them out of my hand. No man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. So I was, I was thinking recently about this thought of lingering and how that means for us to be patiently waiting and even oftentimes uh, reverently remaining in His presence. That could be in prayer or in meditation or just in worship to the Lord silently, quietly expecting God, looking to Him toward Christ because He's promised to meet all of our needs. Isn't that wonderful today that we can linger in His hands? And I was thinking of this thought of lingering, how it means to remain or to stay in a place longer than, than is usual or longer than is expected. Today we might have like a lingering cough or a lingering illness or someone might have side effects that are lingering that could be in the negative. But I was thinking of the positive, how we can linger in the presence of the Lord or remain or abide. Just stay continuing and enduring and just keep holding on. Isn't this wonderful scripture? Neither shall any man be able to pluck them out of God's hand. And if we could just linger today, I just wanted to encourage you. That is a persistence. It's just a person lingering in the presence of the Lord, looking to Him, waiting on Him, just looking for His next move and plan. My, I think all of us could just learn to linger more in His presence. And in doing that, we linger in His hands. Today, I want to encourage you. Today, and even in this next season, it's so busy in life. Isn't life and the world's pressure so, uh, so pressuring on us to move out of that quiet place with the Lord? But today, I encourage you to linger in His hands.